If you know American history, you know for the longest time that our beauty, our standards of beauty was not the norm. It was considered abnormal. It's considered the other. It's considered a deviation from white beauty. And I feel that, what, slavery's been over, but I feel like the physical part, that's over, but there's still a lot of mental slavery going on. And I think, including when it comes to accepting our own beauty and accepting our own hair, I feel like we're, we still got ways to go. That's why events like Curl Fest, that's why having a community of natural hair support is important for this journey. So we can get to the point where we have all of this smelling in here, and it's just like, it's all encompassing and it's everywhere. So a little, you know, future little black children don't even have to think for a second that there is something wrong with the way that they look. It's almost like a systematic way of not being the other, you know, and making it mainstream. And so that when you come to events like this, you feel like, you don't feel like you're joining in on another's party. Like the party was already there for you. And that's what makes it so comfortable and so relaxed. And we're sitting here relaxed because it's just that comfortable. And it's so, it's so important, like you said, for generations to come to see that this is what your future looks like. This is what it's becoming. This is what it is. And there is a place for you. My name is Jocelyn Williams, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York, but by the way of Memphis, Tennessee. I've been blue for three years, so they call me Blueberry, but I've been natural most of my life. I love expressing myself through color, so today I was like, the bigger the bluer, the bigger the better. So I went all out with 50 shades of blue. <laughs> I'm Tatiana, and I'm from Harlem. I went natural because I had a perm when I was younger, and it always damaged my hair, and I believe, like, Oh, when I went natural, okay. I feel like my hair grew and I look just more beautiful. Thank you. Um, my name is Tiffany Wynn and I'm from South Jersey. Well, I stopped getting a perm, I want to say, in 2010 and I just decided that I wanted to do my own hair. I was tired of going to the salon and, you know, paying hundreds of dollars every month for perms and it wasn't really doing anything for my hair. So now I'm just completely natural. I, I love trying new products, although I do hate wash day. I just, uh, but I do love when my hair comes out nice and curly and free, and I love it. <laughs> I'm Kristen, I'm from New Jersey. It was just a matter of my hair just breaking off so much that it just, it, it wasn't cute anyway. <laughs> so it was just like, why don't I embrace what I already have been given naturally? So I decided like, no more perms, just either a protective style or leave it out. My name is Geneva Johnson. I'm from Bronx, New York. I live in New Jersey. My family's from Barbados. I grew up in a family where we relaxed our hair all the time. My mother relaxed my hair from when I was very young. And I've been natural for the past four years. So I'm new. So I actually big chopped myself. And it's one of the best decisions that I've ever made. Um, I'm happily natural for four years. Um, I don't plan on going back to any other texture because it's, it's become me. And I think I've learned to love me more and loving my hair more. So I think it's important to support black, um, black owned businesses because you have to keep, one of the key things in stabilizing the community most people don't understand is uh, cash flow and con the control of cash flow. It's important to keep that within our communities. That is what's going to help us to grow. That's like the key ingredient that most people don't realize. You have to control where you spend your money because that's where also you will receive your money. Um, and I think it's important to support black owned businesses because I feel like it's a way to build the community. A lot of things, a lot of times we don't have representation and so it's important for us to show that you don't, like our children can be more than um, what is presented to us. Like there's so many other things and when we don't see it, sometimes we can like let it go and not know that it's an opportunity. Heritage in my culture. I think it's really important to support black businesses, especially black owned beauty brands because it's really important that we all stand for each other and just represent each other as a community, as a culture, even if the, even if the rest of the world doesn't. Thank you. I feel like for black 
people in general that we're running a race where we're always two steps behind, um, especially when it comes to black wealth. It's something that we lag in compared to our uh, counterparts. And so I, with black products, black businesses, um, it, they should be supported so that we can have something for the next generation to come so that we can feel like we're included and we're not the other. We can feel like we have a voice, we have a say, we are comfortable in being who we are um, and also building and striving to be better. So I, I do believe that black businesses and black products are very, very important. It's important to support black owned businesses because if we don't, who will? Nobody supports us but us. But so we gotta keep it going because if we don't, nobody else will.